man wanted for murder in Tennessee stabbed a Gaines County deputy this morning. The suspect is now dead. Our Tori Larna joins us now with a look what happened and how that suspect actually ended up in Seminole. Tori. Lauren, a Seminole woman was coming home this morning and noticed a strange car parked behind her house. So she drove by, didn't see anyone inside, but she did think something was suspicious. Her next actions may just have saved her life. She said there was a car there that looked a lot like the car that my wife and I drove, that the car wasn't supposed to be there. It was just after 645 Monday morning when Jacob Newdorf says his mom got home and found a strange car behind her house. And so she drove around just a little bit to see if someone was in there. And just from, she didn't get out of her vehicle, but just by driving around, she didn't see anyone in there. So he called Gaines County Sheriff's Office just to be on the safe side. It was just, it scared her. And so we just, I mean, we didn't want to take any chances. And a good call they made. DPS says when the deputy pulled up, 34 year old Alexander Bonning was in the car. When he asked for Bonning's ID, we're told Bonning stabbed him. And that's when DPS says the deputy pulled his handgun, shooting Bonning to save himself. She heard a gunshot. Just three days ago, Nashville police says Bonning stabbed a man and his wife while they were on their back porch. The man died in the attack and his wife is in critical condition. The female victim was able to lock the back door and run through the house. She collapsed on the street where her neighbors rendered aid. They say he pretended to be lost and asked for directions before he stabbed them. He then ditched his car and stole theirs and drove down to Seminole. Bonding was taken to the hospital but died from that gunshot wound. The family says they're thankful they weren't his next victims. We're just thankful she didn't get out of the car. Um, we're thankful that he didn't go into the house while she went to town. And um, we're just thankful that no one, that we didn't get hurt. The deputy was taken to University Medical Center.